All right, everybody. I'm going to do a little test of the Garmin Tempe thermometer here. Uh, I'm at Target. I had to go on a little run here. You can really see there. And um, anyway, it is, according to the car, it's negative 18 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to set up my Garmin thermometer on the back of the car, go into Target, and then come back out and see what the uh, temperature reading is. Anyway, you can see here, I am, whoops, just a second here, I'm connected, so, all right, and then what I'll do when I come back is I'll just, I'll just, as I walk back, I'll, I'll start an activity, just a walk, and then I'll sit in the car, you know, and just wait till it goes, but I'm going to put my gloves on here and go set this thing up all right so I'm setting it up you can see I don't know if you can see that sun dog there the uh, rainbow awesome pretty cool man so I'm gonna put my Garmin Tempe right here and uh, I'm just gonna put it under this ice so no one comes and steals it or no one sees it and seals steals it right there and then uh, when I come back I'll set a little um, I'll set a little uh, activity and then I'll come back and I'll attach to the Tempe thermometer and see what happens. Anyway, that'll set it as a hike. And I want to wait till the Tempe thermometer gets locked on. Someone's going to put my groceries away here. All right, everything is set to go. You can see uh, my battery's running real low, so I just got to start this right now. There we go, it started. Okay, go park this thing, sit in the car for a second, and check the, uh, ter the temperature on the thermometer, then get out of the car. All right, let's just see. Take my watch off here so it saves a little bit of time. Okay. Let's see here there we go you can see I have my hike da -da -da -da. temperature negative nine that's what it's registering in the back of the car so we'll see if it goes down I'll pause this here see if it goes down here a little bit thing um, it started out as negative nine now it's going down to negative 8.1 uh, which is interesting because Right now it is, let me start the car and see what the thermometer in the car says. <laughs> says it's still uh, 18 below. But what's nice is, on the Garmin Tempe thermometer manual, the range it has is down to negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's actually trying really hard to measure this negative 18 but it can only go down to about negative 8.1 or you know negative 9 or so well that's good to know all right i'm going to shut this down because my watch is running out of um battery and i'm going to save it that's kind of neat then i'm going to go get my poor poor tempe out there struggling All right. Now maybe, you know what I'll do? I wonder if it's because the ice was blocking it. Let's take take the ice off it. Let's take the ice off it. And I'll put it right here in the shadow and see what happens. <laughs> ah, try it. See it. See if it goes down even farther. Uh, actually, taking that ice off it didn't help at all. The temperature now is registering a negative 7.5. Oh, well, maybe it is going. Well, I'll, I'll watch it for a second here and see if it goes, gets even colder. Yeah, so you can see the uh, weather widget here on my watch, which is connected to my phone. It says it's negative 16. So let's see here. And on all this stuff here, no notifications. Uh, yeah, I don't have the temperature set on there, so I'm just going to go back to the... Oh, it's going down to negative 10.7. Wow, it's still going. 
Good, good, good. Keep going, Tempe. Keep going. There we go. That is awesome. Keep going, Tempe. I'm going to see how far, how cold it'll get. It'll let it get. Hey, it's going some more. Negative 11.4. It seems like once every 20, 30 seconds or so, it makes a leap. Now, perhaps it just took a little bit longer to go from room temperature all the way down here. I mean, it's an 80, 85 degree swing. Or perhaps when I put the little sheet of ice, since the ice isn't as cold as the air, the ice is, you know, frozen, then perhaps the ice made the thermometer reading a little bit warmer. And of course I have my car running now, but I don't, I don't know how much that's going to heat up by the trunk. I don't have my rear def def defroster on. Now let's see if it goes from negative 11.4, if it goes even colder. That would be fantastic if it keeps getting colder and colder. There it goes, negative 11.7. Let's check back in a little bit. Going down, now it's negative 12. Keep going, little Tempe thermometer, keep going. Oh, it is at negative 12.5. Come on, focus in there. Oh, come on. Negative 12.5. I'm going to stop it here pretty soon. Um, you know, I, I was going to do my Phoenix out in the freezing cold, but I don't want to risk a, you know, piece of wearable technology, you know, worth a few hundred dollars. I'd rather just risk something worth, you know, 40 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever. But I still want to stop this. I got to get home to my wife and and kids here. So if it goes up, if it goes down to negative 13, that's when I'll stop this. So just a second here. Let's see if it goes. It's going in increments of three hundredths of a degree Fahrenheit. So if it goes up or goes down to 12.8, then I'll stop it. That's that's about as that's exceeded expectations. See here, see if it goes down to that here. Oh, it's going down to 13.1. Yeah, I better stop it. I think I've made my point here about the Tempe thermometer. That is awesome. That is amazing. It's rated at negative four degrees Fahrenheit, and it's going down 13.1 and getting colder. And I don't want to risk it, and i got to get home. Plus, my Phoenix here is running out of battery, so I'm going to stop this. Gosh darn it. Just trying to get it in the light here. There we go. Now I want to save it. Beautiful. Done. Done. Well, yeah, I'm done. I'm down to 1%. I got to go. Right there, rainbow. Right there, rainbow. Beautiful.